Welcome everybody to the Reject Rundown Podcast and you're chilling with me, Tony the Kid. I appreciate you guys from tuning in. Now, before we move on, Pareto Advisory is advised everybody because Tony the Kid does drop some F-bombs here and there. So please, parents, if you're listening around the kids, FYI, you might want to tell them earmuffs. Kids, if you're listening around your parents, just be safe, be careful. Don't blame me if you're listening to me and I'm dropping some bombs because I'm going to. All right? Just letting you know. All right, let's get things going, everybody. Now, you all know when you're chilling with me, I got to go on rank modes. I got to talk about people and talk about things, talk about entities and their issues at hand, right? So, I want to discuss and complain and rant if possible, everybody, if you guys are okay with. Sony, everybody. Sony, the movie company at this point right now. The Sony Productions that develop our Marvel movies Especially our Spider-Man verse, all right? Because it seems like Sony just don't want to let go of Spider-Man, don't know what to do with them, trying to do as much as they can, trying to milk the cow, trying to make money that they just don't know how to make, right? So we all got these bad reviews coming from just recently with the Morbius release. Even Jared Leto couldn't save the movie, you know? Great actor. Phenomenal character he portrayed in, Bat- in uh, Batman as Joker. But at this point right now, you know, even he couldn't save it. It just didn't go anywhere. I don't know why. I still yet have to see the movie. But all the reviews and all the people were saying it was a shit show. Right? So, I'm sorry for that. I apologize, Morbius. I apologize for, you know, uh, Jared Leto for you having to be dragged and pulled into creating a movie that, you know, you thought you had high hopes for. I could tell the passion that came from that you really enjoyed the project. You had, you were basically given this good vision that we all had and stuff and it was going to be great. And yet, it was a bomb. It was a, it was a shit show, man. Everything's, the, the editing part was too much. You got the movie pushed back like X amount of times like Venom 2 did. And it just flapped. Now, it, it, it goes to show, and like I said before, that I can't trust Sony making any Marvel movies. I cannot trust them. Ever since they created Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2, it just, you could just see that they want to pull as much information and use a much, I don't, like things and stuff like that for for Spider-Man. I mean, that's the only character in a sense that they own at this point right now. So they're trying their best to do something with them. They know that he's a money maker. He's like one of the the most important characters of Marvel. And they have him. So they're not going to want to let go, right? They feel like they can create this Spider-Verse and probably battle with Marvel, in a sense. Especially battle with Disney and say, we know, we're going to be side A and you're going to be side B. And if you want to, you know, you want Spider-Man in your verse, you're going to have to pay me all the money or at least 80% of everything, and you get basically 20%, and we go from there, right? But seeing how they did Morbius goes to show that they're not ready for things like this. You can't trust them. Sony, I'm sorry. You can't trust you. You You haven't proven yourself to give us some type of greatness, right? You've gotten lucky with Venom 1 and Venom 2. Okay, and even then, people had issues with Venom too, including myself. I had some issues with that. A great, a great impact with Carnage. Fantastic dialogue between Tom Hardy and himself, in a way, about with him and uh, Venom, and especially portraying Venom. But you kind of there are holes, there are things missing in there that gets it from being this fantastic set of movie uh, of an actual Marvel movie that we miss so much, right? And you kind of already know, and like I've always said, that this is the reason why you can't trust what's happening with Sony and their, their ideas that they have. They have great ideas, trust me. Great ideas in the sense of putting these small characters and making solo films and probably expanding their history in a sense of putting it out there on the mainstream, which isn't a bad idea. I mean, this, it's the same way Marvel's trying to do with characters in, in the Disney series series. Uh, their little Disney uh, series parts. You know, they've done Moon Knight and they try to expand there. Moon Knight's doing phenomenal. They did 
uh, Winter Soldier and Captain America, the, when Falcon turns into him. That was fantastic. They've done Loki. That was fantastic. They're going to do Echo. That's more likely going to be even a, 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 a greatness right there, too, as well. It's going to be a good series. You know, things like that, it's helped them create such a great, you know, uh, vision going forward, right? And they've always had that. The good thing is that they've had that consistency and vision for these type of things, right? Now, the problem that Sony's just been having is that they just want to push everything in one movie and then all of a sudden say, you're going to love it. You're going to love this, you know, glimpse of Mel saying Venom. You're going to love the fact that we can... Uh, put Spider-Man on a poster in the background. You're going to love the fact that we're going to mention Scorpion or, or uh, what's his face? Yes, that Scorpion guy. And you're going to love the fact we're going to mention Rhino, Craven the Hunter, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. You're, you're going to love it. You're going to love to see the Falcon, especially the fact that we got Michael freaking King to portray this guy. We're going to put him in our verse and all of a sudden he's going to stay there. Like it doesn't, what, what, what doesn't, that doesn't make sense at all. You just, you're basically doing what you did with Amazing Spider-Man. You're throwing so much crap into it where you lose the audience. You lose the audience. The graphics look phenomenal. But then, boom. You just ruin it with all the plot holes. Just suck the life out of it, right? And now, and now, you want to... <laughs> Now you know that you aren't going to do so well in the movie verse. Now you're going to want to dive into the animated series. And now you're going to want to pull out, you know, you got freaking lucky with the amazing Spider-Man uh, or the Spider-Verse or something going into the Spider-Verse, whatever that animated film that just came out. You got super, super lucky on how well that did in theaters. That movie, in no lie, is a phenomenal movie of Spider-Man, especially the fact that they focused on Miles Morales. It was fantastic. Now, the sad part is that you had to debut Miles Morales in the animated movie instead of putting him in live action. That just goes to show the respect you're giving to us Hispanic slash African-American folks. Okay? That's messed up. The mess messed up. Even though that animated film is phenomenal. It's great. I can watch it three or four times a day and still love it. And at this point right now, you know that's the only way that you're going to make money. That it's, you've done a decent job at it. And now you want to... <laughs> it's so stupid. Now you want to add 240 plus characters in the new movie that's about to come out. And you're going to go into seven different universes, if I'm not mistaken. Or I, mean, I don't know if it's ten. But what the hell are you thinking about? You're doing it again. You're doing it again. You're sucking the life out of it. You're being a jackass and saying, we need to make money and we need to make money now. You're turning it to Warner Brothers. A table of freaking idiots. I hope you got. I hope I got it right. Well, old man RJ, but a table of freaking idiots. You're messing it all up, man. Now I have no problem with you putting <laughs> putting the cartoon out there, and I don't have a problem with you announcing the next movie beyond the Spider Verse or whatever case it be is the third film. That's okay. You have a trilogy set up. It looks like it was going to be a trilogy set up when the first one ended. So it's not a problem. I'm definitely okay with that. But the fact is that you have over 240 plus characters in like one damn cartoon movie. It just goes to show that you're just trying. You're trying so hard to fuck it all up. <laughs> so stupid. And at that too, it makes no sense because it's like, you're trying to prove a point with Marvel and say, you know, we could do a, a better job than you or we could do as good of a job as you. You know what I mean? Like, it, like, why are you doing that? Why are you trying to prove a point? Just give it up, Sony. Give it up. Give Marvel Spider-Man. Give them 80% of it. All right? You keep 20%. And no matter what, that 20% is going to be worth way more than your 80% 
if you were to sit there and make a movie on your own. All right? It's going to be. It's going to make buku money. You understand? Buku. With all the products and all the freaking things that you could do with Spider-Man, especially Marvel, that they can add them into. Like, come on. Come on, dude. Just let it go. You're going to ruin it for yourselves to the point where you're just going to... More movies like this that you put out about Marvel and especially about Spider-Man, people are going to go to films and they're just going to give you shit reviews every single time. Every single time. And no matter what you do, no matter how good you think... No matter how good you think you're going to have it, you're just basically going to mess it all up. You're going to mess it all up. You're going to lose the money that you earned. And you're just going to end up having to sell it to the company in the first place. So it makes no sense on why why you're holding on to it. It doesn't. You know, you're just being greedy and you're letting the money blind you instead of the vision. The vision is what's going to give you that greatness. All right? You're going to be set for life if you let down your ego and just go with it. Now, the other thing is, everybody, is that we all got, uh, I guess, wind at this point right now that there were some cuts of Venom in No Way Home. All right? Spider-Man No Way Home. We all knew that we're going to get the Toby, we're going to get Andrew in the film, and we were all excited. Yes, they didn't confirm it, but there were things that dropped in social media that were like, hell yes, let's get these two guys in the movie. Finally, let's get all three of Spider-Mans. It was going to be nostalgic. We're going to love the fact that we're going to see all three of them face to face, and they're going to point the fingers at each other, and they're going to say, no, not you, not you. I'm the real, I'm real Spider-Man and stuff like that. But guess what? You also had a fourth person added on to there. You had Venom in your hands. Now, would he have been part of the Sinister Six? Possibly, but also possibly not. You probably could have had Venom on Spider-Man's side, and it would have been four against five, right? Now, that would have been pretty interesting, but also pretty damn cool to have because the sixth person that you guys could have had would have been Vulture. All right? Now then you would have had Vulture. Then you also would have had freaking Venom going in there saying, let's get four against six. That leaves two extra people to be roaming around. That means you had Green Goblin still being your main antagonist in the film and the rest trying to either help but also try, like basically saying, we're not good, we're bad, we're, we got to stop you type of thing. But no, I'm pretty sure what happened in that whole scenario is that you wanted more money. You definitely wanted more of the pot when it comes to adding Venom. You wanted more stipulations. You didn't want Marvel to use Venom to go with a different storyline, especially using Tom Hardy's character and putting, pulling him into the Marvelverse. You definitely didn't want that, even though everyone else wanted it. And then you decided to pull it back and say, nah, we're just going to give you an end credit. You fucking teased it when it came to Venom 2 at the end of it. You teased the hell out of it. People were fucking excited. They were hyped to see that they were going to get a Venom, Tom Hardy's Venom, Tom Holland, fucking Spider-Man, face to fucking face. And then you had a bigger tease with that when you said Andrew Garfield didn't Spider-Man, his verse, could then never face the alien. Boom. <sighs> it's visions like the shit that you guys have and people that are running that part of the office is what's going to fuck things up for everybody, everybody. I got to say it twice. And I'm sorry, fans, but it ain't going to get any better because now we're going to get Craven the Hunter. Now we're going to get this 240-plus character in an animated film and crossing over 10 different dimensions and bullshit 
And then we're about to get Madam Web movie coming out. Even then, that's going to be a, a flop. I can see it being a flop. Like, fucking A. Fucking A, Sony. You're going to fuck it all up. I'm sorry. Let it go. Give it to Marvel. Keep 20% of the films. And that way, you can still make money and be on the positive side of things. Instead of being on the negative side of things. Because if we continue to do this, we're going to fucking rain fire on all the negative reviews on your damn movies. It's going to be hilarious at the things that us fans are going to say shit about your movies. They are going to suck and suck big time. They're going to suck worse than Warner Brothers sucked in the fucking East verse They are. I'm sorry to say, people, but it's going to happen. Look at Sony's resume. It ain't good. It ain't pretty. And it ain't consistent. All right? Marvel, consistent. One or two films you could probably argue and say, hmm, could have done better. But more than likely, majority of the positive films that came from Marvel and Disney have been way more on the better side of things than on the negative side of things. (sighs) Fuck it, Sony. You're pissing me off. You're pissing me off. You're pissing me off. And you're sitting there thinking that, oh, we're going to make money, people. We're going to ching-ching. We're going to cast the fucking register. We're going to walk out holding bags of money. No, you're not. No, you are not. You're about to walk out with a bankruptcy slip if you keep the shit up. So that's all I got to say, everybody. <laughs> I appreciate you guys for tuning in with me, Tony the Kid. It's been fantastic. Talking shit about Sony and how idiotic they are because they are. If you don't agree with me, don't forget to reply on Instagram, of course. Tune in on there as well as here on on the on the podcast on Spotify. You can leave your notes, notations, and stuff like that. And YouTube is going to be posted as well too. So please, if you have any issues like that, if you have comments, if arguments to come at me, come at me. I don't care. It's been fantastic going on with this run, and I appreciate you guys, you know, replying back and then, you know, your two cents. Otherwise, sign it off. Be told the kid. Remember to take his look. It's on Instagram, like I said, website, therejectrunner.com, as well as podcasts everywhere on Apple and Spotify. Otherwise, you guys, see you later.